morning everybody i hope you're all doing really really well i didn't actually intend to film today but i've got a mini schnauzer in and she's just absolutely stunning i think you're going to be really excited to see her and i just want to film the session i am filming off my phone so hopefully it will be all okay um it's only her second adult groom so fingers crossed it goes well i'm sure she's going to be perfect hi hi gorgeous hi gorgeous <laughs> Yeah. Pretty gorgeous girl. Okay, we're gonna start with her on here and I'm just gonna clip her back. Um, I'm gonna clip off her body. Hi. But I use a 7F on the body so it's nice and silky and smooth. She's actually really soft. She's still got a very puffy like coat, haven't you? You're so scrumptious. Should we use a 7F on you? So 7F is short and smooth all over um, and I'm using the Buttercup blade which actually are my favourite at the moment. Hello, darling. Right, I'm gonna turn it on because she's only had one full groom. I'm gonna turn it on, let her sniff, let her explore. Oh, what's that? Who is it? Are you clever? Oh, you're so brave. Can I shave you? Okay, I know, I know. Funny, good girl. So obviously she's a little bit apprehensive about the kids being on her, but that's okay. Just take it nice and slow. I don't put them straight on her to start with. I just use the back so she can get used to the sensation. Um, I'm gonna clip straight down the back to start with and then we'll do the sides. Um, she has more of an Asian fusion style schnauzer so we actually don't have a skirt on her at all. We remove it. We don't have a skirt, do we? No. Okay, I'm gonna put this on you, baby girl. Thank you. Oh, that's funny. It's okay. You all right? Oh, there we go, clever. You're so clever. And on the back leg, um, you wanna shave all the way down to the dip, completely bold, so short, seven F. And then you wanna start at this little, the start of the muscle, you wanna shave on a diagonal, but you only wanna shave the top part of the muscle. So in the leg, there's two muscles, here and here. What are you eating, your hair? Um, we don't eat hairs, baby. No, we don't eat hairs. So on this part, you only want to shave the top muscle, and then on this part, you want to shave the top and the bottom. I don't know if that makes sense, but you can kind of feel. So... <laughs> Guys, this is my little tip. Have the bin right by the table, so you can just swoop it in. Also you really want to let them sniff and um, move around as much as they want because they need to learn they have freedom and it's safe and I think once you restrict them that's when they start rebelling because they want to explore and they want to figure out on their own terms that the equipment that you're using is okay and it's not going to harm them. Hi! I know it's really loud if you are very brave. She's also just had her first season so I just need to be mindful um, on her belly because she's a little bit swollen still. Um, but she's still doing pretty good. So with schnauzer legs, if you're doing an Asian fusion style, you can either start higher up, which I did on her, on the little bone here, and then you can do a flared leg. Um, you had a few little knotties last time, didn't you? So we couldn't do a fantastic flared leg, as you can probably see. There's actually some gaps here where I showed you last time. So you can start higher up, and then flare out, or you can come in quite close around the joint and then flare up from there. I personally like it when the legs start a little bit higher. So that's what we're gonna do. We just won't shave the short in that area. Good girl. So if you're a groomer, you probably know on this chest bit here, if you shave down, it gets really bold. So you wanna shave in on an angle. These are loads of tips that I learned from Lisa Hart on her seminar, which was incredible. But if you shave in, um, it doesn't look as bold. Pretty. He's clever. Right, I'm gonna shave your head. And this bit's gonna feel strange. So with eyebrows, to feel where they start, there's a little dip in the head. That's where you want to shave to. 
And then obviously on the side of the face, you want to shape from the corner of the eyebrow to the corner of the mouth, and you want a nice, um, a nice straight line. If you're doing Asian fusion, you don't kind of want it blended. You want that severe line, but if you're doing a more traditional look, you do want to blend that out. She's still a baby, so we probably won't be able to get perfect lines because the clippers feel funny, don't they? Do you feel funny on your face? Yes. Oh, thanks. That's clever. Girl, it's okay. Okay. Baby, you can get them. Oh, not your eyebrow. We don't want to snip your eyebrow. Right, wait there. Okay. We're going to do that after the bath because otherwise I'm going to end up shaving your brows off. And you're not going to look like a schnauzer at all. No. We're going to use the Taylor Spatial from Eye Groom. And if you want to get a really nice, like, Asian fusion round muzzle, you need to make sure the face is really clean. So, you use some of this on your face. That feels funny. Yeah. Ooh, you've got loads of eye bogeys. You really want to massage that in. I like to leave um, the facial on while the shampoo's on, just so that can like sink into the face. I'm gonna take a little sprat comb, which I always use by Colin Taylor, and I'm gonna remove some of these little bogey bits she's got by her eyes. Can I remove them? Ready? I always use, um, make sure the face is damp because that can be quite painful removing that from the eye if you just pull it straight out. Ready, darling? Oh, what a good puppy. We do have a little mat there. We'll cut that, we'll cut that out. So there's a little mat there. That's not very nice if I'm gonna try and pull that out. So we'll cut that one out. I let the water sit at about 32 and then the shampoo is going to take it up to about 50. The shampoo I'm going to be using on Bella is the Almond Crisp by Nature Speciality. This is made for dirty coats or curly coats. Wire coats do tend to get dirtier um, because they hold a lot of oil. So I used this one last time and it worked really well so we're going to use it again today. We're about to go in for the second wash. So it's exactly the same, just making sure I'm going to nourish the coat. Ooh, I do find this one doesn't soak up that much, but I kind of like it. This time I'm also going to pop on some conditioner. I'm going to pop this in her legs. Um, I just normally put one pump in my hand, massage it between my hands, and then I just spread it down the legs. Um, I don't want to pop any in her beard because I want the beard to keep a nice round shape. So I'm just going to pop some conditioner on her. And then I let that sit for five minutes. While that's sitting, I just take my slicker brush and I just brush her legs through. I also always put the nails in the bath, um, just obviously the nails get a little bit softer when they're in water and the sound is much quieter. So we're gonna clip her nails in the bath. I do find with terriers, they tend to have shorter nails, so we don't need to take that much off, do we? No, boy, just girly. favorite ever air cleaner you want to smell do eat it and um, it's not going to harm her if she eats it it's just made of essential oils so we need to clean your ears after the bath if water gets, stays in dog's ears that's what can cause infection rather than dirt going in so i always clean the ears after just so we get all that water out how can i touch this ear oh you got really trim some of those hairs out. So she has really thick hair growing down the ear canal. Good girl. Sometimes plucking the ears can cause infection, so I'd rather just clip them. Whoa! Um, head shaking after an ear clean is also really, really good because it's going to remove any debris from the ear. 
for the baby, so I don't really want to use the blaster on her. And because she's not got that much hair on her, we don't need to use the blaster. So I'm just going to use um, my small hair dryer and we're going to start with the legs, aren't we? I'm going to use the curved slicker just because. Oh! Oh! Who's that about? Who's that about? Are you happy? So I don't know if you can see here. That's the beginning of some felting. It's very loose, it's not near the skin, so you can still see the skin. So I will be able to brush that out. Um, to start with, I'm gonna take the eye groom detangle spray and I'm gonna spray it directly into that. And then I will take my slicker and gently tease. Whoa! Gently tease that out. Um, it's much kinder to do this on a wet coat. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on now. It's gonna be a loud noise, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We had a few little knotties in the legs this time, so they are a little bit uneven. Use the little fleet comb again, just to comb the face out and up. I'm just gonna take my thinning shears and just really gently cut that out. I don't really want to be tugging on knots around her face because that's going to hurt. I'm going to start with clipping her pads out. Terriers do have slightly different pads to doodle breeds, so you don't want to clip too much out. You still want there to be a little bit of hair in the pad. Shaving the bum or the armpits on any dog can be kind of itchy. So if afterwards they're scooting or they're licking, it's quite common. You've got to use like a medical blade, a really short blade on that area. So it's going to be a little bit itchy. Um, it's the same as we shave too close. So it's not anything to be worried about. It's just for hygienic reasons. Um, we don't want that area getting matted because it gets super sore. Right, I'm going to do the rest of your body now. Okay. Excuse me. No. We don't eat hair. Excuse me, no biting. <gasps> I know, but we don't bite. We don't. Um, Bella. Darling. No. We don't bite scissors. Good girl, there we go, you did it, we're good, you did it. Good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl, Let me see you. Let me see you. Oh, wow, you look beautiful. Wow, what a stunning girl. Hi. Wow, that's beautiful. You're beautiful. Yes, you are.
that brings us to the end of Little Miss Bell's second ever adult groom. I don't really know if you're interested in watching me groom or would rather tips. But I thought she was so cute, I thought I'd show you. Um, so thank you so much for coming to the channel. If you have enjoyed it, please subscribe and leave a comment below. Say bye. Say bye. Bye.